Hey guys, hey. This is the fourth time I've tried to make a video. How are you guys doing? Is you doing? Is you? Because it's Saturday and I'm tired of making videos today that didn't turn out well. So let's see if this one's good. So today I went out with my husband. Um, we went to the BX. We went to Mary's uh, Italian Kitchen where I got a meatball. They got the, the, the big meatballs. Big ones. They got big ass meatballs. Balls. Meat balls. So I got me a meatball. And then I got a, a blue cheese wedge salad because I was good as hell. So I ate a good portion of that. Um, and then we went to the BX. And I got, because... I never got one of the the birthday cake ones that everybody in the damn grandma was like, Oh my god, birthday cake is so good. So uh uh Yeah. It's a damn protein bar. No, like, it's not is it life changing? Am I am I instantly gonna like do Sailor Moon? Like I'm gonna rise up in the air and like all of a sudden like Ooh, and then change into like somebody that's not this? Not so much. I mean, it is what it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I've had better. yummy so my husband and I had a really really long talk today okay and I um excuse me hold on there's an itchy itchy nose my husband and I had a really really long talk today and I asked him some pretty deep questions I said um baby oh, oh baby my sweet baby, you're the one. <laughs> he heard me. Need the cutie pie. Uh, sorry about that. Music break. But I asked him a lot of questions about um, when you first met me, and be completely, totally honest with me. What was my cumul cumulus? What was my attractiveness score? Cum cumulus. Cum. Cumulant shit. Um, somebody who can speak English better than I. Cumulantness. If you ever played D and D or any of the role-playing games, you have a cumulantness score, where it's how you, how attractive you are. Like if you if you you know shake a you know fell out of the ugly tree and hit every damn branch on the way down, or if you're like you know an Adonis. Adonis. Um, so I, I pretty much asked him, I was like, okay, so when you very first met me, and he said, you know, it was really hard for him to say anything like that because he's attracted to me in, in many different aspects. But, um, no, no, no. Uh, so, but I said, just looking at my, all my meats back then. What did you, how did you feel about me? And he was like, uh, if I had to look for just what you looked like back then, it would be a two. And instead of me being like, oh my God, you thought I was hideous because I didn't, I did that was not the, the thought process for me. And then I was like, and now that I've lost 200 pounds, he's like a six. So that's like a 300%, like, <laughs> uh, an over 300%, uh, bump up y'all. For losing some weight and then he was like but I want you to know and then he looked into my eyes all beautiful like and you know like you know he did one of these and everybody's like and I want you to know with his big blue eyes he's like that your face is a 10 out of 10 and I was like no he, he really did say that no, he did. I'm just... So, and then I was trying to 
I thought it was really cute. I really did. I thought it was really cute. And I know he meant it because that he doesn't lie. Like my, that is one wonderful, beautiful thing is my husband doesn't embellish and he doesn't lie. And so I never really have to worry about him uh, white line me at all. Like he will always tell me exactly what it is uh, that I ask him, Owie. And um, he told me that my face was a 10 out of 10 and I thought that was very, very sweet of him. <clears throat> and then, you know, I asked him, so what weight would I have to get down to to be a 10 out of 10 and would it require you know, um, skin surgery, and he didn't have an answer for that because he doesn't know. And and then I thought to myself, why does it matter to me? Like, he loves me completely, wholly, 100%. Uh, I know that he needs me. I kill you. I kill you. I, I know he loves me 100%. I know that, you know, that our love is very why does this thing keep stop it get over here stop it i know that um you know him and i have got a love that lasts a lifetime why do i care what number i am to him like why did it matter to me so much that i had to ask him that and then i saw i sat and thought about that and i was like i still view myself as inferior i still view myself as ugly I still think of myself as a two instead of whatever. I still see myself, you know, the 500 pound person I was um, that never really wanted to look into the mirror, never really wanted to dress up, never really wanted to put on nice clothes, never could afford nice clothes, mind you, in her size. Um, never really expressing herself or I was very meek I was very shy uh, even more so than I am now and it was really hard for me because anytime that I would go to the bathroom and I'd have to, I'd have these big gigantic mirrors I wouldn't look at them I wouldn't look at it and when I did look in them I never saw how big I was I never ever saw how huge I was so now that I've lost weight it worries me when I do see myself in the mirror if I have a distorted image and I've talked about body distortion um, I've talked about you know uh, body dysmorphia what are, what are you why are you doing that oh, this damn thing's gonna make me crazy Oh, nope, no, wait, hey, 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 hey. What, is it this way I'm gonna do it? Wait, wait, I don't know. I have to turn you all around. Hold on, hold on. Whee! Don't get sick. <laughs> there we go. That's what was, I was like, what is this thing doing? Because it kept bearing off. So, yeah, uh, body dysmorphia. So, I... I wonder if I see myself smaller than I am or if I see myself bigger than I am I don't I don't know I don't know how that works I mean I know you guys tell me that I look beautiful I appreciate it I know my husband tells me I'm the sexiest thing that ever lived um, I appreciate it I know that you know I see myself and I know that I look better but I don't know that if what I'm seeing, which which version of myself I am seeing, am I seeing myself bigger than I'm supposed to be, or am I seeing myself smaller than what I am? And when does that change? When when will I see myself as I am and accept who I am? When will I see myself and be like, okay, you are good enough, you are fine just the way you are. At what weight? At what skin surgery? At what? size of my clothes or whatever am I going to be like yeah yeah it looks good you look you look good Nirvana you look real good you, you've done real good real much good girl you know um at what point am I going to stop picking at myself at picking at my you know my appearance and um be excited 
that I have lost so much weight and be proud that I have lost uh, X amount of weight. Now, when does that happen? When, when is there a magic moment? Because I've seen other people have these magic moments where they're like, oh my God, I'm just ah, oh, so happy and life is awesome. But I don't have that yet. And I don't know if that's, you know, I'm sure not everybody gets that, but I, I wonder, I wonder when I will see myself worthy of being with someone like my husband to, who to me is a 10. To me, he's f fucking gorgeous. He is beautiful. And when I see pictures of him and I together, you know, I don't see, um, I don't see, you know those pictures where something don't belong here? Like a lot of the times when I see pictures of him and I together, that's how I feel. I see someone who is with somebody outside of their league. And I wonder when I will feel like I belong with him. When will I feel like I, that nobody is going to look at me oddly when I'm out with him again? You know, when can I just hold my head up and be like, oh, well, you know what? I look great and my husband's with me and he's proud of me and he thinks I'm beautiful and that's all I need. I don't know if that'll ever happen for me. And that makes me really sad because I want to have that kind of confidence. I want to be able to put my head up and walk through um, a crowd and, you know, be like, that shit's mine. That's mine. And I deserve it. And, you know, you know, he's only got eyes for me. I'd like to feel that way. And a lot of the times I don't. A lot of the times, you know, I, I look around and I'm always worried that somebody thinks I'm his mother again because that happened to me. When I was with him, um, when I looked much, much older than I do now, um, you know, people thought I was his damn mom or, you know, his sister or, you know, they, they didn't put the two of us together. And he's very um, publicly affectionate. So he's always like hugging me and kissing on me and loving me and I'm always snuggling and loving on him too. Um, dog hair in my nose, always. Um, you know, and I just wonder when is it gonna be when I feel that I deserve, you know, his love and affection and that at what point in this journey am I going to be able to accept myself for just myself? And it doesn't matter how much weight I gained back and it won't matter how much weight I've lost and it won't matter, you know, like if I have extra skin or anything like that, when am I just going to wake up and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty damn cool person. Yeah, I'm, I look I look pretty damn good today. Yeah, yeah no, I'm I'm good. Everything's good. I'm 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 with him, and uh, you know we deserve each other, and I feel good about it. And I don't know if that'll ever happen. And I know that having my revision won't fix that for me. Um, that I will still have to work on my mental aspects and try to feel. Um, like a complete person but I don't know what that's like I have been like this since I was a kid so I don't know what you know a mental healthy attitude is even a possibility I don't know what that's like I have, I have no damn clue because I can tell you, at 287, I still felt this way. Um, and that's, you know, that's like 40, almost 40 pounds from where I'm at right now. And I still felt this way. So I don't think hitting 250 or hitting, you know, 200 is going to change how I view myself. Does that make sense? Um, I'm sorry this video is a little deep today, but... Whoops. Uh... I kind of felt like this was an important thing to 
to talk about because this is this is what's on my mind right now is when am I going to be good enough for just me? When am I going to be happy with just just me? When am I going to feel like I'm pretty and yeah. Does that happen for any of you guys? Do you do you, do you know? Am I, am I alone in this? Cricket, cricket, cricket. All right, guys. I love you, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. And I do hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry for the ones of you that have to work it. Work it, work it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye.